Food creators, Mexican rice. That sounds nice, right? Let's get started. Okay, so the rice that I'm doing today is also known as Spanish rice, AKA Mexican rice or red rice. So what makes it red is that I'm using tomatoes. You use tomato sauce to make this rice, this very popular rice, red. So here we go. All right, so you know I always talk about you got a mise en place, everything in its place because you don't wanna be going around trying to find stuff when it's time to cook, right? So. The star of the show is rice. You gotta have rice. Now this is white rice. It doesn't have to be white rice, y'all. You can do it with brown rice too. If you wanna have a little bit more nutrition, fiber, okay? Tomato sauce. I'm using diced tomatoes with chilies because I like it spicy. Y'all know how I like it spicy, right? And we got some fresh garlic. Ooh, yeah. Now there's a debate going on in my food group about the jarred stuff versus the fresh stuff. Now y'all, if you don't want the food police to come to your door, you better make sure that you use the fresh garlic because that one tastes so much better. Hey, if you don't know how to mince it up, just throw it into the food process and just mince up as much as you need and come back and use it later but ditch the jar of stuff, okay? So the food police won't be coming to your door. So then we're gonna have um, chicken broth. Now, you can make it vegetarian and use vegetable broth, okay? I've done it that way as well. And we have, not the tray today, all I have is just onions and peppers. Nothing's wrong with that though, but it gives it so much flavor, okay? And now we gotta get to the seasoning, okay? So we got my garlic powder, have my onion powder. You know how I like those. That's my house season. And I got my black pepper. And I have crushed red peppers. Yes, I want more heat, even though I have the heat from the tomatoes with the diced chili, okay? We got cumin. That gives it a little smokiness. We got chili powder. And we have bay leaf. I like having bay leaves in my, my beans and in my rice, okay? So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay, so over here, I have my oil and butter. Butter's gonna give you the flavor. The olive oil is going to help with the butter not burning, okay? Unless you wanna make clarified butter, which I have a video on that, so you can check the description box for that. All right, so we're gonna bring this up to uh, heat. So we're gonna go ahead and um, put some of these onions and peppers in there. Not all of them, y'all. Just enough just to give it some pretty color. Y'all know how I like, I like to have the pretty color. So we're gonna go ahead and cook that up a little bit. So we're gonna put some garlic, minced garlic in there. Oh yes. Ooh, smell of vision. How you like that, Gavin? Looking good. Yes, and smelling good, y'all, smelling good. And we're just gonna let that do its thing just for a little bit. Now, we're gonna put the rice in there, okay? So you're probably wondering, chef, yeah, why are you putting rice in there instead of the water in there, the broth? I know, I'm wondering. <laughs> well, this is rice pilaf style. Rice pilaf style is when you're trying to coat your every grain of your rice with oil, butter, whatever one you got in there, and you want to toast it up a little bit. It kind of, you know, helps with the cooking process. So this is rice pilaf style. This is rice pilaf style or some people call it the chef style, okay? So we're just gonna let this toast up a little bit more for like two minutes. I don't wanna go too far. Let me turn this down a little bit. And then, ooh, it smells so good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna come back with our broth.
I'm gonna put our tomato sauce in there. And when I do this, I make sure that I'm doing like more chicken broth or vegetable broth than tomato sauce, okay? And I'm gonna put my beautiful tomatoes in there. And we're gonna season this. Now, how are we gonna season this? Now, I, I got a, I've got a little funny for you. Somebody said, well, hi, do you use onion powder and garlic powder if you already got that in there? It comes down to flavor, y'all. Now, while the garlic powder and the onion does have flavor, this gives it more flavor. It's about more flavor, y'all. And, and this is what I've been doing for many years. I've tried it without it, and it's like, mm, it needs more flavor. So I always come back with the garlic powder. So I'm coming back with the essence of the onion powder the garlic powder, chili powder, a little bit of, this is more like a, if you want to be precise, it's like a quarter teaspoon of all of those. Turn this down a little bit, and we're going to put some cumin in there. The cumin is going to give it that smoky flavor, and I'm going to take one of the bay leaves, just one bay leaf, and stick it in there, and I'm going to stir this around so Make sure it get all flavorful. You see the colors? Look at that. It's nice and red, y'all. Nice and red. And you should smell it. It smells so good. So what we got to do is we got to bring this up to a boil. And then once it boils, then we're going to turn it on simmer and let it do its magic. Ooh, look at that. See? It's boiling. Now it's time to put the lid on here. Let it cook for 20 minutes. But check it at 15 minutes, right? Because you want to make sure it's al dente and not overcooked. All right, so just look. Just look at that. So most of the liquid has absorbed. But we got to do what? We got to taste this, right? So we want to make sure that it's al dente. Are the flavors the way we want? So we're going to try this. Oh, the garlic, y'all. The heat. All right, look at that. Spanish rice, a.k.a. Mexican rice. Mexican rice, a.k.a. Spanish rice, y'all. So, you don't have to have this for just Cinco de Mayo or any Spanish dish. You can add this with any of your meals, okay? I'm Chef Sonny King with King Creations PCS. See you next time.